Hi there, this is Scott Morgan and this is Creative Life 101. Harbor Freight sent me an email asking me to do a product review on their uh, Pittsburgh tap and die set. This is the titanium nitrite tap and die set. I'm giving it a four star review just to tell you up front and I'll explain why it didn't get five stars. But let's uh, open it up and see what we get. This is the metric set. They're pretty much identical to the standard set. Of course, the only difference is they are uh, metric set of standards sizes. So it's very well packaged. Uh, the tools actually stay in here pretty well. I can open them close so they don't fall out. The first thing that struck me though with this set when I opened it is the sheer shot size of the wrenches. When you buy stuff online it's kind of hard to tell how big things are. And just to give you an example, this is their cheaper, uh, like a $30 set I think. I was using this for quite a while before I ordered the bigger one. And this is the size difference between the the tap wrenches. Which gives you more leverage. But even with the more leverage, this set actually is easier to cut with than the cheaper set. Uh, or without the leverage, I mean. I do most of my tapping and uh, stuff on the lathe. And I turn the chuck in order to do the tapping, so that tells me how much friction I'm getting. And these are have a lot less friction. They're easier to use. They're easy to start. They're also the uh, split die versions, which uh, gives me more control over the threads. And I'll put some thread cutting videos in there. I got another project I'm going to use them on today, and I'll add that in there too. So the reason I did not give these five stars is because I got to looking at the taps. If you look closely at the, some of them, the finish work isn't that good. And I'll try and put some close-up videos in the uh, or close-up pictures in the video. But there's little bits. It's like they weren't cleaned up after they were cut. I don't know if you can see that on the edge or not. But there's uh, this stuff coming up the threads. It was enough that I almost took the set back when I got it. Then I figured out you can take something small, like even their screwdriver here. I used a knife at the time. And you can just pick the little pieces out. That's all it takes, and it cleans them right up. And it works just fine. So I did take it back, and I'm glad I didn't. It's been a really good set for the uh, price. I would definitely recommend doing this over their cheaper version. That cheaper version gave me nothing but trouble. These are a really tight fit in there. There we go. There's also, I currently have it in the die wrench right now. But there's a spacer ring that's included for the, uh, the smaller dies. So if you use one of the larger dies, you just take the spacer ring out. Come on. It's a nice stuck fit. And that goes back in there. So overall, I'm very happy with it. I'm very pleased with the price. Uh, I can't afford, you know, a snap-on or a gear wrench, but I've been really impressed with how the, well these work. I, I struggled with that smaller set to cut threads on uh, even like quarter-inch stuff. I, in fact, I bent one of their uh, tabs. I'm probably going to return that, that smaller set because this is just a much better set. It's worth the money if you... Uh, have the little extra spin on it, it is a lot better set than their cheaper version. And now we'll see how well it does cutting. Alright, we're going to be cutting a 5 16 18 thread. I'm using my uh, tool post, uh, my tool holder, to just get the starter straight. After I get it started, I'll move it out of the way, and you guys can see how it's cutting.
Make sure I'm putting this on there in the right direction. Yeah, that's right. Okay, it's already grabbing and cutting a thread, so that's good. Get a few turns here. Okay, I'll switch over using a wrench now. Now this looks kind of counter or counterintuitive with the handles on there, but. This is the best way for me to keep it in line and all that. Oh yeah, we're going good now. Okay, I'm going to pull the pull holder out of the way so you can see. And she's cutting really nice. And this is really not taking hardly any effort at all. I'll use just a little tiny crescent wrench for a handle. Start to see the and coming through. Move the table up a little bit. Okay, it's bottomed out. Let's move this over just a little bit more. Wrench. Could do a little clean up on the end there. So that throws right on there. Very little movement. Not bad. These are cheap nuts too, so it could be the nut. There you go. So we're going to cut a three quarter inch tin thread. I have a, I'm backing this up with a spacer up my tool post holder. I'm using my cross slide to feed it for just a little bit of pressure. See how it goes. Bit in pretty quick. Okay, this is definitely taking a lot more pressure than the small ones do. Well, I have it rigged up in the vise. And this is working a little better. Uh, I can definitely see why they gave you such big handles in the thing. It takes a lot of leverage to cut these threads. Uh, but it is working. I mean, we, we see here, we've got a nice three-quarter thread going on here. Three-quarter ten. I'll uh, finish running it all the way down and then uh, give you guys a shot of what it looks like at the end. And that's what the thread looks like. It took a lot more force than I probably should have. I haven't cut a three-quarter of the thread with a die before, so I'm not sure how much it takes it. But this was really a workout. In fact, it started slipping in the jaws of the, the vise. But anyway, it looks clean. So, I mean, that, that's good. But as far as doing this in the future, I don't know if I'll be using this die set to cut a three-quarter inch thread. The die set will go all the way up to one inch, but I think I'm going to figure out some other way of uh, work holding and maybe some longer handles for the uh, die set.